This is example heat transfer 2. Find the mass flow rate of fresh saturated steam. We're given that it's at 2 bar, and if you look that up, that gives us a specific enthalpy of 2,200 kilojoules kilogram. Required to heat 500 kilograms of solution with a specific heat of 4 kilojoules kilogram Kelvin from 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius in 2 hours. How does the difference between the temperature of the steam and the temperature of the solution change? What is the mean temperature difference? And we're to make a sketch of the temperature as a function of time. So what do we know that has these kind of things in it? We have one formula that says the change in energy is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. And we have these three things, mass, Cp, delta T. And we also have another one that says the change in energy is equal to the change in the mass times the specific enthalpy. Right. So we can equate these two things. This is what we're looking for, divided by our two hours. And we can get our mass flow rate we have the change in M is equal to M, the mass, times Cp, times delta T over delta H, which gives us 500 kilograms times 4 kilojoules versus kilogram Kelvin. The difference of these two temperatures in Celsius is the same as the difference there would be in Kelvin. So we can write 60 Kelvin divided by 2,200 kilojoules kilograms. So what do we cancel? We cancel kilojoules kilogram, kilojoules kilogram, Kelvin with Kelvin, and we're left with kilograms as we want. So we have, uh, we'll cancel a couple of zeros here and then we'll put it in our calculator. 5 times 4 times 60 divided by 22 equals 54.55. So 54.55 kilograms. And so let's get our rate, which would be uh, divided by this 2 hours here. So our mass flow rate And divided by our time would be 54.55 kilograms in two hours or 27.3 kilograms per hour. And so that is our mass flow rate. And with that we have finished the first part of this problem. Now, we need to know how does the difference between the temperature of the steam and the temperature of the solution change? Well, the solution changes from 20 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius, but we don't know the temperature of this fresh saturated steam. We have to go look it up on a table. So that's what we're going to do. We look it up on a table like this. that says properties of saturated steam in bar, because we were working in bar and we would scroll down to find 2 down here and we're going to take out this line here that's for 2 and make it bigger so you can see it and here we can see that we have the pressure that we want of 2 bar here's a 2200 right here and here's what we want 120 degrees Celsius so the temperature of the fresh saturated steam is 120 degrees Celsius. What does our graph look like? Well, as always, this is T down here, and I think we had two hours, and so half of that is one hour. And over here we have temperature, and the highest temperature is that of the saturated steam at 120 degrees Celsius. So this would be 60, so 20. 40, 60, 80, 110. And this is our heating solution. And we start at 20 degrees. And we need to get up to 80 degrees in two hours. 
So basically we come along this line like this. And this is the temperature differences here, each one of these. So, so the, so from the graph, how does the difference between the temperature of the steam and the temperature of the solution change? Well, here the temperature is 120 minus 20, so 100 degrees. Here the temperature is 120 minus 80 degrees, so only 40. So the difference decreases at delta T1 is equal to 120 degrees minus 20 degrees equals 100 degrees Celsius. Delta T2 at the end is 120 degrees minus 80 degrees equals 40 degrees Celsius. And what else does it want? The mean temperature difference. Well, we need to know the formula for that. The mean temperature difference is delta Tm equal to delta T1 minus delta T2 over ln of delta T1 over delta T2. So if we substitute, we get equals 100 minus 40 divided by ln of 100 divided by 40. And if we work that out, we get 65 0.5 degrees Celsius, which makes perfect sense because it's somewhere between these two, between 40 degrees and 100 degrees. So this is the answer to the second part of the problem. And that's it.